What's going on guys? Tekkenizer here and we're playing Game Dev Tycoon. Looked like a pretty fun and interesting kind of simulation game. So I figured I'd try it out, let you guys check it out and see what you think. I think it will be fun. But uh, let's jump in and see how it goes. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years you can build your team, ah, build your dream company, create best selling games, gain fans and become the leader of the market. Let's do it then. Before you start your adventure you have to give your upcoming company a, ga a name. Well why not. It fits perfectly. Oops, we are a guy with spirit. Let's go with. Hey, my God, those clothes options are just utterly fantastic. Let's continue. If you ever want to review the tutorial message, then you can do it. Do so in the help menu to access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a game. Simply press escape to access the main menu. Congratulations! You just started your very own game development company! At the moment your office is in a garage and you are the only employee. But don't worry! Many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Chima unlock supporter. Support a young startup. Buy the game. For development you can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially intentionally limited, initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. So let's pick. What do we want to name this one? Let's go with. Shoot, sh shoots. McGee. I don't know how to spell, but we're gonna make it up. Suit, sh <laughs> suits McGee. Fuck it. Pick topic. Um, let's go with a zombie adventure, zombie action. So the zombie is gonna be. Brain pudding. Development cost 20k. We have 70k to work with. Let's go with the G. Text based or 2D graphics version 1. Let's go with text based. Starting. Game development runs through three steps. At the beginning of each step, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Ooh, we're gonna want stories up quite a bit. We can have the engine run kinda sloppy, but the gameplay needs to be good. Um, let's go like that. It is a kind of point and click adventure game. Game development has started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Of course, every game has bugs. Development stage two. Uh, lots of very interesting points to mess with here. Dialogue, level design, artificial intelligence. If it's text based, we don't need too much level design. We need decent dialogue and decent artificial intelligence. Uh, 
Uh, we're gaining quite a bit of research. Only four bugs. Don't shake your head, it's not looking good. During development, you can also select additional features for game. Right click. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional feature makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid game. Um, let's give it some good sound, decent graphics. And leave that to right there. He kind of went with basic sound, so let's go there and give it a little more graphic. Give it a little bit better that. More bugs, we need some other stuff. Do, 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 do. Finish. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game. But you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixed bugs can severely affect your range, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and can't afford to wait. We can afford to wait, we have 24k. Did old Teganizer there doing it. Finished! The development of your game has now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Topic, new combo. Official intelligence, world design, graphics, sound. Let's release game. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic genre combination. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see that yeah, we should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Develop another game. Pick topic. Let's go another zombie. Strategy. Oh, 20k. Do we have enough? No, we do not. PC. decent graphics for this. We have 1k left. The first reviews of our newly released game Brain Pudding came in. Uninspiring. Owie! Meh. <laughs> it's not worse. We could have got fours. A six. That's pretty high. Five. Eh. Average. If you're published a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to begin gain research points, well as valuable insights into the, to what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this mesh and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. We're gonna need high gameplay. A pretty strong engine. Gameplay needs to be up there for sure. Recognizer Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released the first game, Brain Pudding. The game has a moderate response from viewers. We are curious what Tekkenizer Gaming will deliver in the future. Brain Pudding sold over. Brain Pudding sold 1,711 units in the first week on the market. Now that your game is on sale, you receive the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Brain Pudding was so successful that we now have seven fans. Hell yeah! So let's see. I'm gonna drop dialogue to here, but we're gonna need this up. It's not as high, but dialogue pretty good. Well, it is a strategy game, so I guess it that needs to be up pretty high too. So max those out to pretty much where we need. Okay, so we're making some money. 
Um, we're gonna need some graphics up there for sure. Decent sound. World design gonna be up there if it's a strategy game. Brainpoint is selling over 7k so far. Let my guy fix the bugs. There we go. Experience gained. New record. A lot of stats and other things to put into account in this game. Let's release it. So, generate game report. Cost 49k. Screw that and a bunch of malarkey. First reviews for our newly released game, Dead Becoming, came in. Could have been better. Shows potential. We're in sixes. Oh, now you gave us a five. Eh, not terrible. Dang. Rain pudding is now off the market. Sold 8,515 units, generating 59,626 in sales. Oh, let's develop another game. Let's go with racing. S simulation. I need those graphics. Recent market studies suggest that Garvin 864 is daily also on yeah, competitors in the PC sectors. Consumers prefer the lower price car availability and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. First say this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Uh, it's a speed game, so the gameplay has got to be high. The star and quest do not, but the engine does too. Did be comments made quite a bit. Level designs need to be up. Artificial intelligence needs to be up. Dialogue, not so much. No point to have a bunch of dialogue. In a game like that, it's all about the graphics, the sound, the enjoyment. So let's see, we're gonna need all this kind of up there. Let me put the sound right there, but graphic and world design. World design can actually be down a little, but we need those beautiful car sounds. Without those, it makes it kind of a shitty car game if they don't sound close to the real thing. You know what I'm talking about. If you play a car game and it sounds like a fucking farm animal, you ain't gonna play the damn thing. Not at all. Did become now off the market. Sold 10,000, five copies, generating 70,000 in sales. That did pretty good. According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nintendo is known for the wildly <laughs> successful King. Dinky Kong! Dinky King! Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. New record there. Oh, we almost leveled those up. Oh, I'm so well. let's release it and get it selling. The reviews are in. 
Really? I thought it would be higher. Disappointing. Very disappointing. We don't have much topics. topics. Ah, uh, let's go with transport. Simulation. Um. Well, there's some big differences. Bus. Uh, how's that slow? Not too good. Uh, it's selling more units now. I've just finished Speed is the Winner and I am impressed by your talent. I'm, the contract. I'm in the contract of business and we could use your skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Good to know, so people pay me to do stuff. Gaining more fans. Level design doesn't have to be too high. Uh, it is a transportation, so gotta be pretty decently high. We have 99 fans, and it's year one. Uh, world design has to be pretty good. Sound does not have to be super great. Doesn't have to be super graphic either. Today, Nevada has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new home, yeah, new home gaming console called TESS early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed, designed controller. Let's see what happened here. 11 on 11. We got a new topic, new combo. Got leveled up, leveled up. Level up. Everything leveled up? That'd be awesome. Yes. Yes. Yeah! Help us make better games. First views on newly released game, Crazy Bus came in. Don't look like they're going too high. Oh, six! I like it. Simulation games work well on PC. Oh, seven. Damn, that's our highest score right now. Seven. Damn. Oh, I got some good reports. Thank you to Tekkenizer from Patrick and Daniel Klung Greenheart Games. Hi, Tekkenizer. We are the creators of Game Delve Tycoon. I'd like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. You are welcome, guys. I enjoy the game. Game Dev Tycoon is the very first game and it means a lot to us that you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. Well, thank you guys and I hope you keep making games. Love to support little game companies that can keep making better games. Speed is the winner Speed is the winner is now off the market. It sold 9,120 copies and it generated us almost 64,000 in sales. Crazy Bus is breaking that record within seconds. But let's see, we're not low on money. Can we generate a game report? Um, how much is that gonna cost? Oh my Jesus, let's do it though. 
Uh, sorry, I just gotta take a drink of water here for a minute. Crazy Bus has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Tekkenizer Gaming. It is very important. It makes me feel proud. <laughs> Company's grown up so fast. Our post released analysis analysis of Brainpoint is complete and we got the following results. Post apocalyptic and action is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. Platform genre match. Good. Game reports are a great way to gain more research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Hint! Try to develop games with a very different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Wild West? How many points do I have? I, oh, up there. There. I want antagonizers right there and buy black, 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 bright blue. You have sexually re. Oh my Jesus, I cannot talk. You have successfully researched a new topic. Wild West. Make us some Wild West games. Let's see. Let's make a custom game engine. Today the new game platform TES by Nevado has been released. Copyright reasons they can't use the real name. Crazy bus and off the market it sold wow. Fifteen thousand one hundred thirty four units generating a hundred wow, almost hundred and six thousand dollars in sales. We're already in year two and we have 199 fans. Let's see. You have successfully researched custom game engine. Now you can create your own game engines. To get started, close the menu, click anywhere to bring up the action menu. Game tutorials, mono sound. Um, graphics, 500k, story quest, lineal story. Save game, 10k, 30k, TV graphics, 50k, linear story, save game. Let's create that. Be able to save your game is nice. You're now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. Your first custom game is down. You should try using it in your next game. Let's get another game out there right now. Actually, we might need to do a contract unless we can uh, afford a game. Let's try another zombie game. Uh, action. 80k. Jesus. Oh, it's expensive. Pick game engine. Bite of death. Cannot afford that, so we gotta go with that. Gameplay, we're gonna need a high engine here. Drop this down slightly. Come on. 
On Jitter and Game Reports, you start to gain insights in the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. Those insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you have turned this option, option off instead. Hints range from three pluses to negatives and indicate how important an area of the type of game is. When hints have a question mark at the end, e.g., it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre, but that you are not yet sure whether this holds true for this particular genre topic combination. God, it's costing us too much here. We need decent sound. The graphics should be awesome. The world design should be awesome. Oh, we're negative right now. Your bank is causing right. Thankfully, your bank is able you to withdraw your account to 50k. But be careful, your account balance is below 50k. You will go bankrupt. It will not happen. He needs to do the bugs first. You gotta hope this sells really damn well. Still finishing it up. So let's see, new record on both. I think that's the stuff you'd want in zombie game. Nice quests. Get the art quests. We're gonna find out what the uh, critics say. Six? Six? Better than last time. Four. Oh, come on, game hero. Six. Eh. Still could work. So what kind of contract work can we do? Contracts are useful to earn some extra cash while you're bound, so that can also be useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you set. If you miss a from a contract, you will have to pay a penalty, so it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. Recently raised to years, home cons by Nevada has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. So one customer said, I love the games that come with the TS and playing with it controls so much more fun than on a keyboard. Thank you for the quick work. We will transfer 21k to your account. Jason here, I just got word from a client that the contract was completely successful. Excellent work! Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Um, three weeks. Four weeks. We got another 12k. Any more contracts we can get a hold of and do? Let's see if we can do that one in time. We better get hustling if he wants to get it done. Got that done as well, so that's all the contracts. Five deaths now off the market sold 17.5 thousand units. Almost $123,000 in sales. So let's see, we can create a custom engine, it's a lot of money though. Um, game tutorials, mono sound, let's go a new topic, um, time travel, why the hell not? We 
we have now got time travel options. Develop new game. Pick topic. Wild West. Genre. Um, action. Platform. We could go with this. You require a developer license to be able to develop this time. Do you want to pay 8000 and acquire a license for the test? Let's do it. Game Engine 1, next. Um, let's make it pretty graphical. No, you can't do that shit. That cost is too much. Um, that can be dropped down, but that needs to run well. Reason I said to increase the priority gaming device also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while other, others cater for the more mature age groups. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games on specific ages, age groups to really make an impact. New research available. Target audience. All right, so that's something we'll have to work for later. We have 305 fans in year three. Will that help? Guess we'll find out. We're 8.5k in the red. Following the massive success of TES console, there are now rumors circulating that Ben and other Japanese companies plan to release a home gaming console on their own. Good to know. Well designed. Good. Not finished until he gets rid of those bugs. Twelve twelve. New topic, new combo. We got bonuses for all that now. Let's see what the rating is. Release it. Will they give us a good review or bad review? Game 6 came out. We forgot to name it. Oh well. Ah, ye bastards. Now you're just mean, Game Hero. You're mean too, assholes. Oh well. It is what it is. Master B the company claims that the Master B is technically superior to the massively successful TAs by Nevada and plans to release it on the upcoming months. Let's see, let's go for it because we need to make some monies. Got some quick money there. Crank it out. Okay, let's try to get that one too. We're not making much money off this game. We lost a fan actually. Not a good sale. Well, with that, guys, we're gonna end the first video. I will continue the series because this game is actually really fun and it's cool to see what you can make. But as always, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. And have a good one, everyone. Later, guys.